What's up everyone? Here for another tips and tricks video, but this is it, another one that's more of like a did you know type of thing. This one's a, a little bit uh, more applicable than the fungal video I showed earlier, but you know, still kind of a an accessory to your game, really, more than just like a, an important upgrade. <laughs> uh, so, if you guys didn't know, the Brewlord actually has two upgrades, and I'm not talking about air weapons and air carapace. I'm actually talking about their broodlings and them together. So if you ever actually have the time to click on a broodling, they also have upgrades. So in some of the games you've watched or you've played, maybe you thought the ultimate goal is to get the broodlord. So why in the world would I ever bother with melee upgrades? You know, and in and, and his EVP, to be honest, there's a lot of emphasis on melee upgrades early game. So maybe you're also thinking, like, what do those pro gamers get doing? Like, Brulo's gonna be useless, they don't have any of their missile attack upgrades from the Spire. Well, it's not useless. Go ahead and add a melee upgrade. Let's add all of the melee upgrades, actually. And let's add even one or two flyer attacks. So now, the Broodlord has one flyer attack, which is going to make the shot, the projectile of the Broodling, hurt. But then it's also, as you click on the Broodling, going to make the Broodling itself, as it just, you know, skitters around on the ground, do a lot more damage as well with that plus three attack. So really, uh, if you're thinking about your early games where you have that Ling emphasis and you think Broodlords are going to be useless, well, first of all, Broodlords are almost never useless, but then second of all, no, they'll actually still help out the Broodlings. Uh, again, a little tiny thing, two notes, but if you didn't know, now you know.